This is Songkran, a festival celebrated all throughout Thailand. And it's also how I celebrated my 20th birthday. My first time in Chiang Mai was in the summer of 2019. I fell in love with the city and knew I wanted to go back in the future. I also knew that I wanted to celebrate Songkran someday since it usually falls on my birthday. And what better way to celebrate than the nationwide water fight? So this year, I finally had the chance to celebrate this amazing holiday in one of my favorite cities in the world. Anytime I went outside during Songkran, I expected to get wet. I kept my phone and valuables in a waterproof case to be on the safe side and carried a small squirt gun around with me to partake in all of the fun. On the first day of Songkran, I was walking to the old city and I accidentally ended up in a parade and got doused with water. Although it was an unexpected event, I'm really glad it was my first taste of this spectacular holiday. As I mentioned before, Chiang Mai is one of my favorite cities that I've been to. It holds a very special place in my heart as it was the first real far international trip that I ever took as my previous one had only been across the border to Canada. My mom and I came to Thailand back in 2019, but we only visited Chiang Mai during our stay. Getting to know the city and sightsee the area was so special to me and it was just as special coming back. So what exactly is Songkran? Well, Songkran marks the beginning of the traditional Thai New Year on the Buddhist calendar. The water symbolizes purity, and by being splashed with the water, one is cleansed of their sins. However, according to my friend from Thailand, a lot of people just celebrate for the fun of it. During Songkran, I spent time with some of my friends. One of my friends from Koh Tao came up to Chiang Mai to celebrate. She's from Bangkok and said that Chiang Mai is the best place for Songkran in all of Thailand. Then I met a friend who I knew from back in the USA and she introduced me to one of her friends and we celebrated my actual birthday together. Additionally, the day after Songkran, we went to see a Kantoke dance together where we ate delicious food and saw a brilliant performance. Of course, I also did some sightseeing on my own in this beautiful city. I revisited some sites that I went to with my mom in 2019 and found some new, beautiful places as well. I had a great time during my stay in Chiang Mai and I hope to be back soon. Thank you so much for watching my video where I celebrated Songkran, my birthday, and explored the beautiful old city of Chiang Mai. Stay tuned for more travel and eco-travel content by hitting subscribe and turning the notifications on. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment, and I hope to see you again.
Thanks for watching. Bye.